What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick off where we left off last time, we successfully captured a northern French territory against the French, or from the French, obviously. And now we have to secure it. So what we want to do is eventually send some troops down here to knock out um, this idle French skirmish force. I just want to fix the trading port and ultimately march onwards to Khan. Khan is very weakly garrisoned and we have spies making their way towards the, uh, the capital. But I also have this cavalry unit who is going to do some scouting. Well, let's break that. <laughs> so who's in Paris? Ooh. Is the man himself there? No, it's heavy cavalry reserve, dragoons, French, Irish lead. Okay, I'm going to want a couple of stacks then in order to attack, which thankfully is what I have. So you're replenishing. Well, actually, what I want to do is probably annihilate this army. So let's take a Scottish Highland Regiment, hit Toulon, force the French Navy to battle. Okay, I got one ship I want. Yeah. Well, most of the most of the armies, most of the navy's junk. So I lost six ships due to that. Six. Six. Holy hell! Well, looks like I need to recruit some more ships out of out of. Uh, Gibraltar. Sorry, I completely forgot. Now ship this third rate over to join Nelson's fleet immediately. So who do we have? Rose, Scipion, Victory still alive. Thank the gods. Kent, Hamden, Arrow. It's got lots of seconds. I a bit. I would like some firsts. Six ships. God, that was expensive. But yes, I'd like this army to head east and hit Torino, hit Milan and start to Link, create a uh, border with my Austrian allies, then maybe it's Switzerland. And I'd like all three of these armies. Well, actually, you are in a position effectively where you can. Okay, no, you can't because they hate you. Stay there for now, then. And okay, well, in one turn, I'll move them out. And ultimately, let these guys do a bit more replenishing. And then we are. Are we recruiting an army in Britain? No, we are not. Shipping two units of line infantry across the channel next turn. Okay. Am I building a court of appeals anywhere? Because I need to... Good, in London. Because I need to keep um, the ball rolling on my techs. I don't really want to waste time researching techs I don't want. Okay, no, I'm not going to fight you. Well, I'm not going to ambush you, no. Oh, good. Oh! <gasps> Very, very stealthily perched on the hilltop, waiting for the French armies to march by. But yes, things are going well for Britain at the moment. The interesting bit's going to come along when I end up having to fight the um, Prussians. But by then I should have an absolutely roaring empire. Abolition of slavery, lovely. Okay, so let's do that, do that. Build a military academy just to make sure I'm not, or to try to reduce the amount I'm being bottlenecked. Okay, let's drop you along the coast. Bring those ships into port. Take my navy. Get ready to drop them back in the dock. A new nation arises, the Italian state. So Venice has rebelled against the rebels. Well, not against the rebels, against the Prussians. Which is quite good. We do have this unit for this force coming south towards Marseille. But what I want to spend money on, well, what I'd like to, what I should spend some money on is let's build a 106 gun first rate. She's got two. That will be good enough for now. 
Then Madrid could do a lot of upgrading, but it's not really a priority. Court of Appeals might be a good idea for bonus to tax income. 2,000, 2,500. So I can really make Highland fit. I don't think this opens up anything particularly new for me. I don't think. So I think I might go ahead and give Spain a Court of Appeals because it's still my biggest region. Yeah, cavalry I'm not so fussed about. Recruiting vineyards. Plus one wealth for turn and more money. And probably an infrastructure. I oh, know you are being upgraded in terms of your infrastructure. Good. Bordeaux is free. So if I... To be honest, I think I would leave them... I could say uh, leave them there. Right now I want this army to be to replenish a bit more too, so I'm not exactly in a massive rush. German Legion, Royal Marines. Let's hit and turn again. Ooh, he's gonna infiltrate Paris, infiltrate Lisbon. So hopefully in Paris he can start to form spy networks and they've abandoned my port, which is lovely. Six pound of horse artillery, no, do not engage. Ooh, so I might have to send an army out. Ooh. That's the garrison from Paris that sallied out. Huh. So here's the question. Do I move my army south to cover the bridge and abandon the region? At least in part. I think I might, because that way I can see if I can try and engage them in a fort battle. Um, but I would like... What I really like is some good artillery, but I'm still waiting for that to be built in London. Yep, the Prussians are still being the Prussians. It's a little frustrating that the French push eastwards has stopped. Successful mission, the Reverend Henry Bates. Lovely. General Staff, Portuguese cavalry, 12 pound of foot artillery. Theodore, Portuguese fusiliers. Basically, lots of good stuff. Good to lots. Okay, so basically, recruiting infantry from here seems like it would be quite a good idea because the Actually, your replenishment rate's huge. Get Swiss Jaeger. So what have they got? A lot of artillery. Yeah. So do I want to do this? I think I do because I'm only I'm close. I'm still close. Maybe recruit a fensible unit just to keep them chilled out a bit. Bring them, bring the ship back. I may as well get Nelson's column just because it stops, it helps ease my sustainment burden. And then because this is, so is this? That's that's Paris. That's what that is. No, I want to keep you. Okay, so I can put you there. If I put you there. If they turn and try to run around the back, they're not going to make any great pace because they're too far away from a road. So let's hold the bridge. Probably. Well, that's going to be way too many turns. Wellington himself. May as well buy the market upgrade. And then let's start building another army. Six pounder, nine pounder. Yeah. When's the next artillery due? Three turns. It's like experimental howitzers and five inch howitzers. I'm really starting to run out of things to research. Carronades, I'm not bothered about. So I might just get up to plateways. Plus 10% wealth generated from mines, but that's a bit limiting. Limited liability company. 
10 per town wealth in all my regions plus 5% wealth generated. That's a good long term one to go for. Do I get steamships, interchangeable parts? To be honest, this is quite good. Movement range and increase of speed. So I might actually keep that the way it is. But let's recruit some. Let's use the Dragoons and the Light Cavalry. Let's make this my first all nine pounder artillery army. Let's get some. Okay, so British Dutch infantry, accuracy 32. Life foot's just better. King's German Legion is also just not is good so let's get two of them they're all out of I can't build any of them so let's build another foot infantry cool recruitment report trade ships are still being produced out of the wazoo so what's at the top of the docket now ivory and that is you and what's the top of the docket now Sugar and spices. Ivory spices. Good. 31,000 next turn. Lovely. And can I move this, this army out of Toulouse? Because I like them to hold that bridge also. That would be useful. So I'd like this army to... Well, when this army is finally built, they can land and take Khan. Then I'll have many, many stacks with which to attack France. Yep, yeah, they've drawn, they've pulled back. Oh, they've... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, they were so close to Marseille. Oh, well, I'm going to have to fight them. Um, Probably auto resolve that. We lost a lot of men to make that happen. And I'll do it again with you. Damn your eyes. Don't ambush. They're obsessed with trying to garrison that port, but it's just not going to happen. It's the Khan garrisons. For There's Boney. Boney's bent for Brussels. I see him. I s my god, I saw him. I saw him. Yeesh. Let's go for him. I'm, I'm pretty sure in this game you can't kill Napoleon. Like, if you kill him, quote-unquote, on the battle, it says he's wounded, even though if you've got him completely surrounded, no other units, you shot him off his horse, he's wounded, and he'll be back. I hate that a lot. It feels like, to me, if I kill Napoleon, I want to kill him. I don't want him to be sort of okay. I don't want him to get better. Same with Wellesley. If I lose Wellesley in a battle, I want Wellesley to die. He's a good general, but I want him to be gone. The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your as they are unhappy with the current government. Failure to comply. Well, I can run in. Ah, oh, I can't run in. I thought they would loop around the outside. But we have been intercepted. So it is time to engage the French on the battlefield. Ultimately, we couldn't really afford to, because in the end, they would more than happily um, just take my town back, which obviously I do not want. Hills are turning. The, the machine is... Holding some cavalry in reserve in the centre gives you... That's... That's my... Ugh, stupid mouse. Okay, so that's my guns for the right. There's no... Can deploy some guns on the wide on the right. But the bulk of their effort is right in front of me. Over these hills... Okay, so let's make one detachment is going to come in on one flank. This, 
detachment's going to go in the centre. And this slightly lighter detachment is going to go along, come in from the right. Cavalry is going to be in the woods, and general's going to be generally. The withdraw button to the left of centre on the battle control panel. Orders selected units to retreat from the field in an orderly manner. Withdraw. Shan't be needed, old boy. Fight another day. To cancel the order. So let's just advance in good order. Probably want to deploy my artillery somewhere wide. Less the cavalry. Oh, not le I said less the cavalry, not including the cavalry. Maybe more of my artillery on the left might be, and right might have been a good idea. And they've begun their, they've begun engaging. So who's this on the flank? Fusiliers of the line. I'm going to want to push their flank. But if I can deploy my artillery there, maybe a bit further out, in which case I probably want my cavalry over here to protect them. If we can deploy them out there, they'll be in a good firing position. So let's speed up time, because right now nothing's happening. To be honest, I may as well just keep. I may as well just advance because right now there's no real incentive to do otherwise. Okay, let's pause time. Pause, pause, pause. And the enemy's not giving themselves an opportunity to deploy in a good formation. Run this unit of fusiliers. Ultimately, let these guys unlimber and begin to give fire because I don't really know where else to put them. Okay, cover on the left. Chevaux Leger. Bring my general more towards the centre. Out of the ring, out of the firing line of my artillery. You'd watch out, son. <laughs> Rocking their shots well. You need to walk. Well, no, you, know, you need to run to catch up with them. Because that's really fine. Let's run the battle line into position. Well, actually, just put my light, the light infantry up here because I don't like them being on the on the flank. Cavalry are engaging. They were. If they get into position, I'm probably going to form them into. There they go. So let's take both of these guys, block them off into square formation. 
These guys are going to provide fire. Give fire, sir. They're not deployed in an ideal position to for um, maximum firepower, but they're not even in position yet. Oh, dangerous, dangerous position for artillery, however. Form square. Because the light infantry, that's why. Charge the lancers. Charge the cavalry. Charge the uh, infantry, sorry. Unlimber this artillery on the flank. Oh, they're going to run down loads of my own skirmishes. Sorry, skirmishes. Good. Large amounts of casualties being done. These are just militia. Watch out, militia. Got the 47th Regiment of Foot. It's going to tear the hell out of you. Push forward. Good, run up and you're gonna run you're gonna hit that fusilier unit of the line. Scrum that's going to kick off, but ultimately everyone's got a good shot firing into all the supporting units. Okay. Hit the lancers before they have a chance to charge. I don't know if my cavalry will beat them, but okay, let's engage these guys into the f into the uh, into the fray. Let's hold fire on the artillery because they're not really doing anything. How goes the cavalry fight? Pretty good. Once you get them last past the last point, it's a bit like killing rabbits. So the guy in sharp says. Our 
our men are running for. Yeah, fair enough. It's a bit of a messy old scrum going on over there. Whereabouts are they? Well, at least these line infantry, these light foot units are going to pour it into the supporting arms. And my infantry is going to chase down this. Chase down this French infantry unit. Chase him down, chase him down. So you chase down the infantry the artillery unit, you chase them down, you chase them down. Chased on that fusilier of the line. <laughs> Chased on that gunner. Shot him down. Okay, so Mon General. Where are you best placed? You're probably best placed to go chase down this artillery team. Absolutely, I want to continue. And then let's just triple speed it, because there's only so long I want to be not optimize the hell out of this. Excellent. Devastating loss for the French. Let's see if my general can chase down this gunner unit. Pretty sure he'll be able to. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yes, damn right he is. He's chopping the French to bits. That's what he's doing. Decisive victory. Excellent. Let's push them back. I'd have suffered some casualties, but as in, in general, it should be a pretty good exchange ratio in our favour. Yeah, three and a half to one ish. Mop them up. Got them. Then let's go back to back. Go back to base. Oh, we're actually replenishing in situ. Okay, so let's recruit a unit of Swiss Light Infantry from Bordeaux. Because right now we've got nothing else. And they're on their way. Geoffrey Mirabeau. But we've had our first sighting of Napoleon Bonaparte. And there he is, ladies and gents. There he is. En route to Brussels. As we can see, Paris has no garrison. So I'm not just going to rush for it. I mean, I could, but where's the fun in that? Let's keep these guys replenishing. Are they going to recruit? Are they recruiting anything? Nope. Napoleon's going to move up. Not Napoleon. Wellington's going to move up. Let's do some upgrading in Marseille, because I'm probably going to need to recruit more troops in this region. I think I'm going to head into... Well, I can either go north or I can go east. I'm probably going to go east. But let's do some good upgrading. Let's fortify Marseille. Why the hell not? And also, let's get some better roads in here. Let's go back to this army. Yeah, you've all been recruited. Artillery, line infantry. A whole bunch of foot...
Oh, may as well upgrade Scotland. Sweet. But anyway, looking at the timer... Actually, I need to pay attention to these next turn. But yes, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and we will see you next time.